Hello guys, in this video you will know how to implement Mapbox Map in Android Studio using Java. Mapbox is a leading platform for location data and mapping solutions, known for its speed, customization options, and beautiful cartography. Let's first start by creating Mapbox token. Mapbox by default provides public token. But for this tutorial I'll be creating new secret token. Select this option and click create token. This token will be visible only once so make sure to save it. Now let's start adding Mapbox to our project. We'll have to add our token in two places in our project as shown here. Let's add the required permissions now. For Gradle version lesser than 6, Maven should be added in this method and for versions above 6 the below method is used. Since mine is above version 6 I'll go with this. After syncing make sure that you don't have any errors here. Now let's add some vectors. Now let's add Mapbox dependency, and then create our UI.
Now, let's code our main activity. Let's start by declaring the variables and listeners. This listener is used to get bearing of the device and is triggered when changed, so whenever the device bearing is changed let's update it in our map. This listener is used to get change in position of the device. Just like bearing listener we are updating the map when the device position is changed. Since Mapbox library is made with Kotlin, we have to import functions some functions. On move listener is used to detect when user has moved the map, when the map is moved. We need to stop focusing our location, to do that we have to remove the bearing and position listener. And also move listener. Now let's assign the variables and then check location permission, if not granted let's request location permission. Let's load the map with this code. Mapbox provides various styles of map and also enables to customize the map. For now let's use default satellite map, later I will show how to load custom map.
Using the following code we are adding custom drawable for the map marker. Then let's add all the listeners. On click of the floating button, we will focus again at the user location marker. This is done by adding all the listeners again to the location component plugin and to map view gesture. Now let's run this project. Let's grant the location permission. Yes! It works! Now let's try changing device location. It works perfect! As you can see the location marker in our app is showing exact right location. Now let's change location to different continents. Works fine. Now let me show how to customize map. To do that first go to Studio in Mapbox website. Then click on Add Style. By using this method you can select map colors from image. Here select a type, then theme and then click Customize. Here as you can see there are lots to customize.
For now I won't be telling about this in detail. To use custom theme first we need to publish this style. Then copy the style URL from share menu. And paste it here instead of map boxes style. Now let's run this app. As you can see our custom map is now shown in our app. Thank you for watching. Make sure to share and subscribe for more contents. Happy coding!